G'day guys, Greg here. Now it's cooking time and well, just take a look what I've got. That's right, some leftover KFC. Now I know that's unheard of, but I have got some and today I thought I'd make a pizza using some of the leftover KFC chicken. <laughs> I know, I can't wait either. So anyway, let me show you some of the other ingredients that I'm using. Well, what I'm using today is well, of course, I've got a pizza base here. I've got a nice thin one. I'll be adding some ham to this. Of course, I've got some mozzarella, some pizza sauce. I've got a red onion, a mushroom, some pineapple, because you've got to have pineapple on a chicken pizza, right? There will be a ranch dressing swirl. And of course, I've got some KFC. Now, it's been in the fridge for a few days. Oh no, I can't believe that either, but here it is. That's the ingredients. Let's start making this pizza. All right, well for starters, how about we preheat the oven? I'm gonna make it pretty hot at about 220 degrees Celsius. That's about 428 Farnborough jingles. Now, unfortunately, there is gonna be some preparation involved in this. So I've just got to cut up a few things. I'll start off with the mushroom. Pretty thin slices I want of that. Enough to, well, cover a pizza base I suppose. And I'll need some onion. I'll cut some nice thin slices of this. Of course I'm going to take the outer layer off. I'm not that silly. Or am I? Now the ham, well, how many pieces is that? Four? That's probably too many. Actually, that was five. I probably just need like three and then I'll just do this. Cut it once down the middle like that. And you know what? I'll get another piece just, just in case because you want to be safe. Better be safe than sorry, right? Okay. Now this pineapple, it's come in rings for some reason probably because I bought it that way and well I'll probably just need two rings of that now did you know that it's approximately 75% of people like pineapple on their pizzas so if you're someone that doesn't like pineapple on pizza you're only one in four and well, the majority wins in this pizza. Now, time to grab our KSC. I think I'll just use a fork to, we'll just pull it apart. I do want to keep that delicious skin on and with all the seasoning and everything. So I'll just tear into it. Like there is no tomorrow. Here's some of those breast bits. Plenty of meat on those. But you definitely do want some of the skin with the seasoning because, well, that's where all the flavor is, right? Okay, that's probably enough because this pizza base isn't really that big. And let's pray to the chicken gods that there's no bones left in there. All right, well, let's start throwing this pizza together. All right, so we've got the base here. We've got our pizza sauce. Put some of that on. Now I'm just using tomato sauce for this one. I wasn't too sure if the barbecue sauce would be a good choice for this. So just your standard, normal tomato pizza sauce. Next I'll grab the onions. I'll just break those rings up and place the rings around the rosy. There we go, that should be enough. Now we'll just put a little bit of cheese on. Because we do love nice cheesy pizzas, don't we? And you just put a little bit on the base. Like that. Now I'll throw on some mushrooms. 
Because why not? I'll avoid the middle because that always gets a bit soggy. Now I'll put on the KFC. Yamo. Now the ham. Lay that out in the strips. I probably only needed three after all, but that's all right because I'm going to eat this while I cook. Now, add some pineapple pieces on. I love pineapple on pizza. Yes, I'm one of those crazy people that does. And we just finish it off with the cheese. You don't want to go too heavy with the cheese because sometimes less is more. But of course you want to cover the whole thing. But don't like put it a centimetre thick or anything like that. And there we go. It's ready to stick in the oven. So that oven should be hot enough by now. Now I don't know exactly how long it's going to take at 220, but I'm guessing it's going to be, well, eight to 10 minutes. So I'll stick the timer on for eight minutes and come back and suss it out. I'll keep my eye on it, maybe to give it a spin halfway through. And well, anyway, we'll take it out when it's ready and we can tuck on in. All right, well, that was about 10 minutes. And there we have it. Looking pretty good, huh? Mm -mm -mm. Now I do have some ranch dressing here. I really do like this one. I probably need a bottle with a, a little nozzle that I can squeeze it out a bit better than <laughs> how it's going to go on if I pour it out of the bottle like this. But you get the idea. I really need to tuck on in. Okay, well, there's a bit of a close-up of it. Now, would you eat this? My guess is yes. So, let's give it a try. You can really taste that roast chicken in there. It tastes so good. And all the other ingredients combined just gives it this really nice, delicious, fresh taste. Oh boy, does that taste good? Mm -mm -mm. Thanks for watching today, and I'll see you next time I cook up a storm. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen. Finger looking good.